Welcome to our reflection on Friday of week one, 26th of February. And our parable today is the lost son. And we continue in Luke chapter 15. Today's reading is some verses 11 to 32. Then Jesus said, There was a man who had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of the property that will belong to me. So he divided his property between them. A few days later, the younger son gathered all he had and traveled to a distant country. And there he squandered his property in dissolute living. When he had spent everything, a severe famine took place throughout that country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him to his field to feed the pigs. He would gladly have filled himself with the pods that the pigs were eating, and no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired hands have bread enough and to spare? But here I am dying of hunger. I will get up and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me like one of your hired hands. So he set off and went to his father. But while he was still far off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He ran and put his arms around him and kissed him. Then the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his slaves, Quickly, bring out a robe, the best one, and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet and get the fatted calf and kill it, and let us eat and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to celebrate. Now his elder son was in the field, and when he came and approached the house, he heard music and dancing. He called one of the slaves and asked what was going on. He replied, Your brother has come. And your father has killed the fatted calf, because he has got him back safe and sound. Then he became angry and refused to go in. His father came out and began to plead with him. But he answered his father, Listen, for all these years I have been working like a slave for you, and I have never disobeyed your command. Yet you have never given me even a young goat, so that I might celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours came back, who has devoured your property with prostitutes, you killed the fatted calf for him. Then the father said to him, Son, you are always with me and all that is mine is yours. But we had to celebrate and rejoice because this brother of yours was dead and has come to life. He was lost and has been found. A lost sheep, a lost coin, and now a lost son. Henry Nguyen writes movingly about his first encounter with Rembrandt's painting, The Return of the Prodigal Son, in a book entitled A Story of Homecoming. Nguyen was at a moment of his life when he felt bone-tired and alone. As he saw a reproduction of this painting, a poster pinned to a door. What spoke to him was its tenderness. The son has returned, filthy, broken, without any of the wealth the father had given him. Yet there is no lecture from the father, no reluctance to receive and embrace the son. There is just tenderness, acceptance, and love. When we come to God as our loving parent and friend, we may be aware of our own poverty and emptiness. Yet God receives us with love, with open arms, with tenderness. We are welcomed home. 
Let us pray. Love in God, thank you that you look for us and that you find us and you welcome us into your family. Thank you that you receive us with open arms. Amen.